What's up guys, my name's Will and today I'm going to show you how to wrap one of these. Okay, so we've cleaned the boat and we've used wax and grease remover first and then we go over it with isopropyl alcohol. We put the knife tape on. Uh, the thing you have to remember is to always go past where you want to start the cut on both ends, front and back, and we're just going to run the tape all the way along wherever you want it cut. the front we're going to go past around about 100 mil or four inches all right so at the bow we're going about 35 mil over so the wrap's going to go from one side over the other when we lay this side we're going to do the other side so just make sure that the water flows over the wrap and that you're not joining it in the center okay so we've got the boat clean we've got the knifeless all laid and we're ready to get ready to unroll our wrap uh, to do that, we're going to start taping some masking tape on the gun with, and we're going to do it every 60 centimetres, or thereabouts, it's just in the process. All right. And this is going to hold our wrap up. Just make sure that it's on there nice and firm, because you do not want the wrap to fall and touch the ground. All right, so we're going to start from the back. We're going to go over just a little bit, and we're going to use our tape on the gun wall to hold it down. It's going to go uphill. That just happens. It's because of the curve. It's also the reason we print all our wraps at 7 feet high. Alright, All right, so at the mud guards, these are going to be in our way. We've got to take a Stanley knife. Sure, that's the bottom of our boat there, and we're just going to cut away some of the vinyl just to make it a little bit easier. Clear the mud guards. So there's our boat there. We're going to cut way down. Just makes it easier for us to bring it in when the liner comes off. It's time to remove the liner. So we're just going to peel back, starting from the back of the boat. And we're just going to start releasing it. And fold it up under itself. Bring it back to the boat. Wrap it around the back. And just push it down for now. We just want to hold it in place. Now what we can do is we can just start pulling the liner from underneath and just pull it towards. Every time we're about to hit the masking tape at the top, we want to remove it, pull the liner, press the wrap to the bottom.
Okay, so it's time to glass this out. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pull a graph, graph off the gum wall. We're going to pull it outwards. And we're just going to start glassing it. So we want to smooth it out. And we'll keep working our way to the bow. And you sort of just stick it, partially stick it to the bottom here. Waving the gun around. Don't hold it in one spot, you will burn a hole in it very quickly. So just keep keep waving it. You'll see that the film will start to smooth out. And I'm just pulling lightly. you watch, you'll see it smooth out on its own. Apply some heat over a larger area. Alright, 
Oh. And when you're under. So you can see here we have some creases. We have to, you always go at a 90 degree angle to where the crease is going. Crease is going this way, we're going to pull this way. Okay. Nice and heat. Alright guys, so as you can see we've got it all glassed out and it's nice and smooth all the way down the entire length of the boat. We're not actually stuck to the boat. So what we're going to do is in this section I'm going to mess it up so that you can see how to fix it. Uh, I'm going to try to mess it up. So basically we're just going to... Uh, I can't even mess it up. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, no? <laughs> Alright, so we'll give it another go. What I'll do is I'll pull it off, I'll put a crease in it, we'll lay the crease, and then we'll do it again. Over. There we go, we've got a crease. Alright, so if you do get a crease, the way to fix it is, we're going to pull it off. We're going to get our heat gun. We're going to hold it up off the wrap, off the boat. Gonna apply a bit of heat, and that crease is now gone. We're gonna let it cool just down a little bit. We don't want to pull the wrap when it's too hot; it will stretch, and we don't need it to stretch here. The trick is to try and do the wrap without stretching it. All right, so we're just gonna pull it again and we're gonna glass it out. So, as you can see, this is not a hard thing to do. You should have no problems in wrapping your own boat because if I can just try to mess it up and not actually do it, you should have no problems. Alright guys, so we're just going to go along. Uh, so important note, 
make sure you're cutting the squeegee like this. Work from the center, work up until it starts to appear as though it's stretching. Once it looks like it's stretching, we're just gonna pull it off the dumbbell. We're gonna hold it and we're just gonna continue to lay. And that's it. So we'll keep, keep going, we're gonna work, I'm gonna actually work down, then come back later, and then work up. Denison films and they have air release system in it so what we're going to do is we're going to try and get the camera in nice and close I'm going to make a little air pocket so I'm going to trap the air inside okay so I'm not sure if you can see that there is actually air trapped we've trapped it we've got a bubble so we'll form that bubble what you do if you get a bubble place your thumb on it and just roll, and then it's gone. now what I'm going to do is just lift the wrap up push it up gently heat gone let it cool for two three seconds blast it out pull it down squeegee If you run your squeegee on the angle like this, you'll get less creases. If you try to push, it's going to start forming creases out the sides of the squeegee, and that's that's where you're going to start creasing up. And as you can see, I'm starting to stretch the vinyl up here as I go up. I don't want to go any higher. I want to release it from the top before I keep going up. Okay, so we've worked our way up. Now we have to release it from the dumbbell. I'm gonna do that. So we can do a fair section and it'll just fold down. So we hold it and run our squeegee up until we reach the dumbbell. And then we can just push up and push it up underneath. Push it up nice and firm so that we're going over the top of the knifeless tape that we laid earlier.
it's time to go around to the front. So we've got a hook here in our way. We're gonna have to slot the film. So we're gonna undercut. Through. Now we've got a lot of film here. All right. Same deal here. And we can actually just go around the corner like this. Right. And give it a tinkle pull. And we're going to go around the other side of the boat. Alright, All right, so we're on the other side of the boat. And we're just going to stretch it out. Pull it around the corner and we're just going to lay it down. And you can see our line, that's our knife is tape. Okay. Lay that and then we can lay the bottom piece. And there is our nonplus. Once we pull the nonplus through, we're going to clean this up with our utility knife and we're just going to cut it straight um, with a very sharp blade and no pressure. We don't want to cut the boat, we only want to cut the film and it's only a small section. So that's it, get the nonplus. You want to fold it over itself. You want to hold down on it and give it a, a sharpish pull. Okay, so the string is now out. We're going to hold it again at the film and we're going to pull. Okay, and now that's cut. So, same deal. Uh, Alright, so. Knifeless over itself, hold it, pull, string is now out. We're going to pull it up to the edge of the vinyl. We're going to hold it again, give it another sharp pull. Whenever you start or stop, you shouldn't really stop, but if you have to stop, just hold it again, sharp pull, and keep pulling all the way. Okay, and now we have the string. We can now just pull away the vinyl. What you do then is you grab the green and you pull it out from under the film so on a sharp, on, a, on an angle so that it's not pulling the film up and we want to keep it flat. Alright, get your squeegee again and just push that down and there we go. Push all the limits with you right now Gotta get it right now Yeah, push all the limits with you
trouble 